and antique. Here is another one, antique. Antique means it is old, but mm, it is not very, very, very old. It is like... <laughs> <laughs> antique is like we go to an antique store <laughs> right? and Sasha says my grand is ancient yeah <laughs> oh grandma sometimes we can describe uh, our grandma grandpa as ancient it means they are very very old right I hope that one day I am ancient <laughs> That means, that means you have a long life. That's great. So, ancient, very old. <laughs> Antique means it's old, but it's like, uh, it's something very nice, usually. It's something that is very uh, useful, and I like it, and I can use it, and... Maybe it is uh, nostalgic. It reminds me of the past. So these are some antique, ooh, antique tables. So in America, we have antique stores. We can go to a shop or a store and buy these old things. Usually they are beautiful. They are still great. They are old, but they're still very nice. Like, maybe I cannot use this phone because I have my phone, but it is beautiful. Maybe I want to put it in my home. Antique furniture, excellent. I can buy new furniture, but it is beautiful. Maybe I want to put it in my home. Antique furniture, excellent. I can buy new furniture or antique furniture. Very good. So do you have stores like this in other countries? Um, do you have antique stores? You can buy old things? I don't know. In America we like to do, we like to go to these stores. We even, we have TV shows about it. Um, can anyone help me? What is the TV show? Antique Road? Road show antiques. I don't know. Road show? Is that what it's called? American Pickers, yeah. Excellent. This is another one. <laughs> so in America, we love antiques so much that we have TV shows about antiques. <laughs> People bring their antiques and these guys tell them how much it costs, how much are their antiques. Um, and there's also this other show, American Pickers. And these guys, they go to old places and they look through all of the old and dirty things. Some of it is just ancient and dirty and it is falling apart um, and they choose they choose the really nice things and they have a store they sell them in so that is antique awesome and Emerson oh yeah a lot of antiques are old stuff <laughs> yeah, usually old stuff if it's still nice we'll call it antique yeah, the astronaut says, these guys travel the world and look in people's homes and sheds for antiques. So, sometimes it's just old stuff, right? We can't use it. Nobody wants it. And other times it's something beautiful, really cool, and we want to put it up. Very cool. All right, that's antique. We can talk about someone's age uh, or the age of something. So, she is a woman. She is a 50-year-old woman. Okay, so we know more about her from that, from that. Oh, maybe Gran, I don't know how old she is, but maybe she's older than 50. <laughs> oh, great age. Awesome. And the weather. These weather words are also old. The weather words are also 
adjectives. So today it is sunny. It is sunny is an adjective. It is hot, it is rainy, it is cold. So we can talk about adjectives using this phrase, it is, right? I'll type that. It is. It is old. It is new. It is funny. It is sunny. It is windy. And we don't need a noun. The noun is it. It. It is new. Right? It is paper. It is new. Very good. So those are some age and weather adjectives. Now we can talk about shape. Circular. This pencil is circular. Circular. It is a circle. What about brand new? Yeah, great one. Brand new. That works. Good. Brand new pencil. Brand new phone. Mm -hmm. Good job. So circular, round is also circular. This cup is round. Oval means like an egg. An egg is oval. The mouse is oval. Um, ooh, the plate. <laughs> we'll talk about this. The plate is round. Thank you. The astronaut is giving us some interesting information. Thank you. Square. Square is equal on all sides. This is a square. This is a square paper. Square paper. R triangular. Triangle. Triangular. <clears throat> rectangular. This is a rectangular tablet. Rectangular. Uh, long, right? A long pencil. A short pencil. Heavy. This is not heavy. Maybe this is heavy. And this is light. Soft. Um, like a dog is soft. Any more you can think of about the shape or the weight or the length, the type, type. And there are so many. These are just a couple examples, just a few examples. Shape. Size, weight. Um, Oh, I said, I said the pencil has six sides, right? You know a pencil, it has six sides. So six is a hexagon. It's a hexagonal pencil. That's the shape. Thin, we can say thin. This is a thin pencil or wide pencil. Maybe this one is wide. Or I can say this marker is wide, and this is thin, wide, thin. Awesome. Shape and color. We can talk about so many colors. These are just normal colors. Green like the screen. Yes. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white, black, gray. Magenta. Many colors. Easy. And origin means where does it come from? Where does it come from? So I can say I am American. That is an adjective. Right? I am American. It is American. I am American. So if you can describe yourself how would you describe your origin? I say, 
I am, and means I am from America. And maybe you have more than one origin, right? I am Mexican. Excellent job. Origin. I am British. I am Chilean. Excellent. I remember we have some people from Chile, so I put here Chilean. <laughs> Excellent. If you are from Britain or UK, I am British. If you are from Spain, I am Spanish. If you are from Portugal, I am Portuguese. Russia, I am Russian. China, I am Chinese. Or English, thank you. So if you are from Britain or UK, you say I am British or, you're right, or I am English. Now, I, whoa, <laughs> I am not English. I speak English, but I am not from Britain or England, so I am not English. I am American. Um, good. Mexico, I am Mexican. From India, I am Indian. From Italy, I am Italian. From Germany, I am German. From, I can go on and on. Japan, I am Japanese. From Brazil, Brazilian. So, that is origin. We can also say, maybe if you are from, maybe if you are from, Mars, I am Martian. <laughs> if you are from Mars, Mars. If you are from Russia, you are, well, <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe that's true and maybe not. But that is an adjective, right? That is an adjective, right? So, yeah. Um... Mars, Martian, Martian, um, yeah, good, there are many, <laughs> yeah, Martian, all right, great, so there are many things we can say, oh, origin, now, <coughs> excuse me, like, I can look at something and say, where is it made? This is made in China, so it is Chinese, but it is also American because the company is America. So I can say this is Chinese and this is American. Let's see if maybe... Ooh, this pencil. This pencil says, check, check. It is check. It's from Czechoslovakia. Interesting. Okay. And let's see. Any other pencils? No. Sometimes we can see. Where is it from? Um, anything else? Okay. We can talk about a hamburger. <laughs> hamburger. It is American. It is American. <laughs> Kami. Kami sounds like mommy. Yeah, it does sound like mommy. <laughs> so, Kami is short for communist, which is an adjective, right? We could say, maybe we don't call, we can call a person communist, but we can call a country that is a communist country. And that is an adjective. <laughs> The reputation, vodka, bears, nuclear reactors, well, <laughs> yeah. So I think in in America, when you say vodka, bears, nuclear reactors, 